Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and I'd like to teach you how to make indie games in the Godot 4 game engine. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to my new 2D hack and slash course and let you know what it's like so you can decide if you'd like to buy it. Let's take a look at what we'll be making together. We're going to make a simple hack and slash game where the player can attack through a combo system. Roll to dodge attacks and fight a variety of enemies, including a boss enemy. The enemies have different states, like a chase state and an attack state. Here you can see a boss enemy. Now the boss itself isn't too hard, but when you get a combination of a lot of enemies, the boss can surprise you often and end your run. We'll focus primarily on using the animation tree and its state machine node. Right here we have the main character, this skeleton, and their state machine. They have a move state, a roll state, a hit state, and then a state for each of the different attacks in, in the combo. You can see we can test out this state machine and preview it in the editor. I could initiate the roll state. We'll then switch back to the move state. I can initiate the hit state and then switch back and so on and so forth with each of these states in sequence. If I come into the move state, it's actually made up of two states, an idle state and a run state. And you can see if I switch between these two, we can get initiate them this way in the preview window. These states are automatically set to switch between each other using this advanced expression system inside of Godot. It's a powerful system that we'll be using for our character and for our enemies. In code, the logic for our states is quite simple. We can just get the current state on our animation tree, and then we can match that state, whether it's move state, roll state, or whatever, and place the logic for that state inside of here. Those states are also tied to animations in our animation player where we have the role animation right here and we can do things like setting the character to be invincible during the role and easily manipulate these properties inside of the animation player. The combination of the animation tree, the animation player, and some simple logic inside of a Godot script is a powerful system to create complex behaviors for both your player and your enemies and it's going to be the main focus as we go through this course. Thank you for your interest in my course and for watching this video. I hope it was both helpful and informative for your purchasing decision. If you'd like to buy the course, check out the link in the description and have a wonderful day.